Hello and welcome back to AGB Art. Today I'm going to show you how to dip wine glass stems into acrylic paint to make some really neat looking designs for gifts. If you enjoy this video, please press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm really enjoying dipping wine glasses into acrylic paint and making these super cool designs both on the top and on the bottom of the glass. These are going to make some really nice gifts for people. What you'll need are wine glasses, which you can get at your local thrift store or at the dollar store. You'll also need some canvases. These are five by fives. You take the wine glass and you'll need to rub off the oils from people touching it. So you just use alcohol and paper towels. Now for my paints, I'm using Valspar pre-mixed white in semi-gloss finish for the base. And then I'm also using colored tube paints, which you can buy at your local Michaels, your Hobby Lobby, your Joann's online. Lowe's has paint samples for about $5. This is a mist tint that only cost me a dollar. All of my paints are mixed with American Floetrol and water. For this particular project, I did about half and half flood Floetrol to the paint. If anything, it was a little less Floetrol and then I would use water just to mix it. If I'm using a metallic paint, I don't use Floetrol. I only use water with metallic paints. I've gone ahead and taped the back of the canvas that just helps to keep it clean. And I've got it sitting on a folded up paper towel. Now this part looks exactly like if you were pouring a painting or doing a Dutch pour, which is what my experience is. I lay down a base layer, which is the white, it's sitting in the red cup, and I use the butane torch to torch any air bubbles out. I'm pretending to do a Dutch pour on this tiny little canvas. I highly recommend that you have gloves handy, a whole pile of them, because you'll need a separate pair of gloves for each glass that you do. And you can do multiple glasses on this one canvas. This part of the project I call Petal and Fiddle because all I'm doing is laying colors down, spreading them, and trying to get cells out of them. I really don't have any design that I'm working on, and for this particular little canvas I'm going to add a black cell activator that I made up. It actually did not create any cells. I was very disappointed but I wanted to mention it because I didn't discuss it at the beginning of the video. It basically is Amsterdam black dioxide paint with Floetrol and water, two parts Floetrol, one part paint, a little bit of water, and maybe eight drops of Minwax wood conditioner. 
Now, unfortunately, I have to lean over and blow with my mouth because the canvas is too small to put a blow dryer on it. It would shoot right across the basement floor. switched canvases because I want to show you exactly how the wine glass is going to come out. So I'm doing the piddle and fiddle with a different little canvas and I'm getting to the point where I'm looking at where I might want to put the glass. I've picked up a glass and I'm deciding where to put it and you put it right down in the paint. Now the bottom of the glass has a divot in it so this is the hardest part. You're going to lift up the canvas and stick your finger in the middle and scooch the canvas up in it. You might even hear a little sound when it happens. And then quickly pick up the glass and there's the painting on the bottom. Unfortunately I can't show you what you would see if you were drinking the wine. Not right now anyway, but later on you'll see it. Now I'm going to add some more base paint to the hole in the paint I created. I will continue to do the piddle and fiddle or fiddle and piddle because I'm going to make a second glass. So here I'm just adding colors to it. getting ready to dip my second glass. You can't see what I'm seeing, but that Valspar paint is creating some incredible cells in the painting. And so in just a moment, I'm going to be adding some more on top and I will use the side of that skewer stick and just basically swipe it across. In that swiping, I'm going to get some more cells. Then I use the pointy end of it to swirl the paint around and make some pretty neat looking designs. Okay, I'm ready for glass number two. Stick it down, maybe push it down a little hard. No twisting. Pick up the canvas and use your hand underneath to push the canvas up into where the bottom of the glass is kind of concave. And there's the design on the bottom. Now you could keep doing this over and over, but at some point, those colors on the canvas are going to get very muddy. This painted goblet has dried for about four nights. And what I'm showing you is 
that sometimes the paint drips onto the glass where you don't want it. And what I do is I take rubbing alcohol and paper towel and just rub the paint off where I don't want it. Sometimes the rim does not get covered and I've got a little idea for what to do there, but I think in the future I'm going to try to get those rims covered in paint. And here are the goblets that I painted during this video the next day. And you can see they're really colorful. I would leave them at least a week before sealing. My next video is going to be a comparison of different sealers and what works best. Along with getting the goblets, you're getting a cute little painting that I will probably varnish and make part of the gift. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching.